Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel Life with Patty and I have you zoned in or zoomed in here <laughs> on a house plant and the reason that you're watching and looking at this house plant right now is because I watch many many different channels and one of the channels I watch is Popol Backyard Farms and Ruthie is always planting new plants in her house and she has them everywhere and she knows her business when it comes to those plants let me tell you and she motivates me and she inspires me to want to plant more house plants but let me tell you every time i plant house plants they end up dying on me except for this plant right here I bought this plant in a tiny little container and it had like three little leaves and I've had it for, I would say at least five or six years. Now, Ruthie, I'm going to ask you a question. Does this plant at this time need to be repotted into a bigger pot? This plant is almost, um, oh, I don't know what the word for it is, but I, I can't kill it, which is good, you know, I mean, because I seem to have terrible luck, but this plant um, it can be dark in there. I can open up this window right here, the drapes, and it gets sun. Either way, it stays alive. Sometimes I forget to water it. Sometimes I water it. It stays alive. So, every other plant I've had, I tell you, they end up dying. But this one stays alive. So, Ruthie, my question for you on this one, should I replant it into a bigger pot? It looks happy and healthy, or should I just leave it alone? Now, I went shopping the other day, and I went to Walmart, and when I was there, I ended up getting another plant right here. And the thing that irritates me, it doesn't have, I have to look it up unless my dear friend Ruthie knows, or Ellen, on Ellen's Abundant Life, I know you have a lot of plants. What is this plant called? All it said there was that it needs medium light. So when I open up my curtain over here, it will get some um, light from that. I watered it once since I have potted it. And I'm just wondering if you have any wonderful tips for me on this plant. I also bought this plant while I was there. And it looks like some kind of an ivy. It also said medium light. And I put it next to this window that I can open up the drapes and it can get sunlight. And so I don't know what this one is called either. So I'm going to try really hard to keep these two plants alive. <laughs> Plus my old hardy one over there that takes everything. And if you have any tips for me, Ruthie, uh, I would appreciate it. You guys go and check out Ruthie's channel. Um, Popol Backyard Farms. I will put a link in my description box below for you to go check out her channel and see all her wonderful plants. And um, I have room in my living room. I think I'm going to get a couple more plants. And I, you know, it makes me feel good when I have these plants. Now, when I first got married, and that would be 37 years ago, um, I had plants all over my apartment. And I loved them. And they did great, but I think they got more sunlight, so I don't know. Anyways, all right, here's my plant edition. I'm not a great indoor plant person, but I would like to be. And Ruthie, thank you for inspiring me to want to go out and get some plants and plant them in my, or, and plant them in pots and put them in my house. All right, everybody, have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.